Hello everyone, this is Video Boy, and welcome to this Archipelago devlog. So for this episode, I have a couple things to show you. I finally finished setting up all the networking for Archipelago, and it looks pretty good. I'll start off by explaining how the networking works, and then I'll show you the result. The networking for Archipelago is a lot simpler than it looks. So basically, the client gets input from the person playing. So for example, the person presses the left arrow key. Then the client tells the server that the left arrow key is being pressed. It also tells the server if it stops being pressed. And then the server processes that data and updates the player's position with it, moving the player left on the server. Then at 20 times per second, the server creates a big snapshot of the position of all the entities in the world. So like monsters, NPCs, players, and then it sends it to every single player. And when the client receives the snapshot, it doesn't process it immediately. They save it first, and then the client waits until it's exactly or at least 100 milliseconds behind the server's clock and then it'll process the snapshot. So when it processes a snapshot for a living entity, so that's what I'm calling entities that can move, instead of setting the position of the entity right away, it sets its goal position. Then at every single update, it interpolates to that position. So it creates a nice smooth movement. And then when the snapshot's finished being processed, it just gets thrown away. And there are many more details on how this works, but it will be the first topic of my first tutorial. So uh, make sure to catch that if you want to learn more about how the networking works and also some extra stuff that went into it. I also put some interesting articles and videos that helped me to do this in the description below. So doing networking this way has a lot of benefits. First one is that cheating is almost impossible. So most of the processing is done on the server and the client only takes input and displays information and uh, world stuff. So like entities, uh, tiles and things like that. So the client is only able to do graphical cheats such as increasing brightness or removing the 100 millisecond delay so that they can see the game a little bit ahead of other players but 100 milliseconds isn't that big of a deal. The next benefit is that in many updates in the later in the development of Archipelago we will only need to do server-side updates and the clients won't even need to be updated to get new features. So that's also a nice thing. And also it allows for more platforms such as HTML5 with the new updates. So here's what the game looks like with the new networking. So you can see there are two clients connected and when you look at their screens, they look like they move at the exact same time and sync up perfectly. Thank you guys so much for watching this devlog. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, make sure that you've seen the subscriber special video uh, because it has a nice reward for you and also, if you're excited for the next tutorial, please drop a like, and we'll see you on the next devlog, which will be in two weeks. Bye.